Is this the best non-collab Nike sneaker releasing in 2024? Let's find out. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the brand new Nike Air Max Plus Drip. Over the last decade, All-Star Weekend has kind of joined the holidays as the best time for sneaker releases throughout the year. And this year, like many years, is pretty solid in terms of sneaker releases. In fact, I just released a video where I unboxed some of the best releases of All-Star Weekend. Unlike a lot of years, my favorite release of this year is not a crazy pair of hyped up sneakers, instead, it's a pair of GRs. And that general release sneaker is the Nike Air Max Plus Drift. And I get it, this shoe might not be for everybody. My wife did not love this sneaker when she first saw it. It's definitely a busy, pretty wild looking shoe, but the more that you look at it, the more that you see it on foot, and the more that you wear it, this is a great all around shoe. And I mean, over the last like almost decade of me reviewing sneakers on the internet, the sneakers that I'm really drawn to now are the ones that are either incredibly wearable and shoes that I can see myself wearing every single day, or sneakers that are wild and crazy and out there. And what I love so much about the drift is that for me, it's kind of both of those things. So as you may have been able to guess, because this shoe has the word drift tacked onto the end of Air Max Plus, this shoe is an updated version of the Air Max Plus. A shoe which first released back in 1998 and has been so popular that it's never come off the shelves and it's continued to stay popular into 2024. Almost 26 years, it's pretty insane. And so to mark that milestone, Nike decided to release an updated version of the shoe for the 25th anniversary called the Air Max Plus Drift. Now over the last few years, we have had variations of the Air Max Plus, like the Air Vapor Max Plus, which is essentially the Air Max Plus's upper tacked onto a Vapor Max midsole and outsole. And honestly, from what I can tell, at least right now, it seems like the Air Vapor Max Plus is a more popular sneaker than the standard Vapor Max. Now to be fair, it seems like the Vapor Max has kind of lost its step since it first released back in 2016, but the Air Vapor Max Plus, Still an incredibly popular shoe. But even with the meteoric rise and even the sustained success of the Air Max Plus, it was never a shoe that I was that interested in. But for some reason, I don't know if it's the molded upper or the colorway or the new midsole, I'm not totally sure, but whatever the case may be, I love the Air Max Plus Drift. But before we dive into this once performance running sneaker and now lifestyle shoe, let me tell you guys how you can get a pair of the Air Max Plus Drift. So the colorway that I've got right here is the Phantom slash Cacao Wow colorway, which is apparently the launch colorway of the shoe. And while the shoe was originally slated to release on February 15th, it seems like certain retailers have gotten the shoe early and certain retailers aren't set to get them until later on in the month. And that's kind of just what happens with GR releases. While there might be a set release date, if it's not a hyped up release that you need special release procedures for, Nike will just kind of send it to you and you get it when you get it. So I mean, yes, while you can grab a pair of these through the YouTube shopping tab on your screen, you could also walk into your local Foot Locker and they might be there, or they might not. It really just depends on the situation. But if you do want to grab a pair of the Air Max Plus Drift, you are going to have to spend 10 more dollars than you usually would for a pair of Air Max Plus because the retail price of this shoe is 185 bucks, which is, uh, I guess not great, but also not completely unreasonable because the price of everything has gone up, so it, it makes some sense. And I know this is kind of crazy to say, but if I was not able to grab the shoe for retail online, I probably would have paid resale for it. I like it that much. Not much over retail, but hey, bad financial decisions aside, why don't we try these guys on feet and see how they fit. New pair of shoes to show you. Oh, definitely interesting. Right? What's the inspiration? So they're based on a shoe from like 25 years ago and they've like slightly updated it. The actual overall design is pretty similar to the original. Okay, it looks like raindrops or like chocolate drops. Phantom Cacao, I think is the official name or something like that. Okay, let me throw these guys on feet, see how they fit. Oh, also I've got the brand new Apothecary SneakerCon collab socks on, which you can only grab at SneakerCon Philly happening this weekend, the 17th from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern time. You can only grab them at the SneakerCon booth and stop by the Apothecary booth, say what's up. I'm gonna be there all day, it's gonna be sick. Have you had the ones that they're based on? Yes, I just don't like the ones that they're based on. Mm. <laughs> For some reason, these ones I like better. Well, do you think the air is more comfortable and adjusted? I'm about to find out. No, it feels the same. I do really like the, the look though, the colorway, the shape. They look good on. Thank you. Would you say that my swag levels have gone up? <laughs> I mean, comfort wise, they feel the same. Like I said, size wise, definitely true to size. I'm a size nine, these are size nine. I would absolutely recommend true to size. They feel literally perfect. Yeah, I mean, standard Nike shoe kind of like, all Nike shoes tend to fit, not all, but most Nike shoes tend to fit true to size, which is great. And this one's no exception, which is awesome. So shout out to Nike for getting their sizing on point. Yeah, if you had to rate it out of 10, what would you give it? I don't know, now that they're on feet, they're pretty nice. Right? Seven? Seven. Oh wow, okay. I'm pretty generous with my rates. Not bad. Back to the studio. So as you all just saw, the Air Max Plus Drift does seem to fit true to size, which is definitely a good thing. From my experience, Nike is usually on point with their sizing. I usually go true to size in pretty much every single Nike sneaker that I grab, unless the sneaker is not available in my size. And that's the same thing with this shoe. I went true to size, fits me great. I have, however, read online that some people think the sneaker runs a little bit long. I didn't experience that personally, but uh, something to keep in mind, just in case you're grabbing this shoe and you're afraid of the shoe running long, 
could happen. But hey, with all of that out of the way, why don't we dive into the materials that make up the Air Max Plus Drift? So starting off around the toe of the sneaker, you've got this really nice and smooth rubbery TPU overlay that comes in primarily tan with some dark brown accents. And as you can see, the overlay maintains that same general shape from the original Air Max Plus. However, on this shoe, it seems a little bit more exaggerated. It's a little bit more sculpted. You've got some nice divots, some nice uh, wider accents, and it comes across as a much more prominent design detail on the drifts versus the original Air Max Pluses. I love some of the shadows that these curves get when you hit them with the light just right. It's a very, very clean looking sneaker. And while it's crazy and while it's wild, it almost looks like flames on the side of the shoe. Like I mentioned, a majority of this overlay comes in tan, but sort of step down from that, you've got this dark brown TPU. And that brown TPU acts as the eye stay along the opening for the tongue of the sneaker. You've also got some creamed hits where the eyelets are to provide a little bit more durability, a little bit more thickness. And then of course, beneath the TPU, you've got this sort of padded mesh underlay. In fact, it looks like the underlay covers the entire upper of the sneaker. And my favorite part about it is that they actually have dyed it with this really cool gradient. So towards the heel, you've got this blue. It fades to a cream towards the midfoot of the shoe. And then towards the toe, you've got this dark sort of reddish brown. That paired with this crazy overlay, I think really draws me to the sneaker. I love the color. I love the shape. I, I just think it's dope. I don't know what else to say about it. And then towards the top of the tongue, you've got what seems to be a synthetic leather patch sewed into the tongue. And then on top of that, you've got this blue Nike Air logo. Moving inside the sneaker, you've got a dark brown sock liner accented by a brown insole, which features the tuned Air logo printed on the heel. And then continuing around to the back of the shoe, you've got this 3D Nike swoosh that comes in this light blue. It also has a sort of glisten to it, which I really like. It really catches the light nicely. And then on the heel of the shoe, you've got this molded ridge with the words tuned air debossed into it. They really want you to know about that tuned air. Moving down on the sneaker, you get to the white foam midsole with the visible air units that feature the tuned air, which I'll be honest, when I first heard about this shoe, the way that I read the articles that I was reading, which sounds stupid, but I thought that they retuned it from the original Air Max Plus, I don't think that's the case now that I've worn this shoe. I think it is just truly the same tuned air as before. Could be wrong about that, but after feeling this shoe on foot, feels the same. So I guess tuned from 1998, not retuned in 2024. Finally, moving to the bottom of the shoe, you've got this gum colored outsole accented by blue hits, cream hits, and darker brown hits. They put a lot of rubber into this outsole though. This is a heavy sneaker. I mean, it's a good thing. It feels premium. It feels expensive. I also noticed it when I was unboxing the sneaker. Like the box felt heavier than every other sneaker box that I was unboxing. All right, so the Air Max Plus Drift. What is the drift mean? I still don't know, but I will say that I do really like this sneaker a lot as a lifestyle shoe. Could you run in this shoe? Sure, you can run in any shoe. I'm running in the Easy Pods at the moment because I'm filming the long-term review, and if you're watching this video after that comes out, I'll make sure to leave a link to it at the top of the screen. Uh, and that is probably the most ridiculous shoe that you can run in, but this shoe is gonna be better than a lot of other sneakers out there. Obviously not as good as like a specifically modern running sneaker, but it is gonna be solid underfoot, literally and figuratively, and uh, <laughs> it's not a bad sneaker. And I guess if you wanna buy this shoe to run in, you can, but let's be honest, for less money, you can get better running sneakers, so I purely see this as a lifestyle shoe. And as a lifestyle shoe, I actually like this sneaker a lot. I think it looks really cool, really modern, really interesting, even though it first released back in 1998. But with these small tweaks, it feels like a shoe that fits in 2024, especially with the current sneaker trend being 2000s running sneakers, because essentially that's what this shoe is. For 185 bucks, is the Air Max Plus Drift worth it? In my opinion, if you're willing to pay the price, Yes, I think it's a great overall sneaker. It feels good on foot. It's not incredibly comfortable, but it's definitely not uncomfortable. It kind of feels like a pair of Air Forces on your feet. It's fine. In my opinion, the reason you buy this shoe is because you like the way it looks. And I love the way this sneaker looks. So that's why I had to buy a pair for myself. But hey, at this point, I would love to know your thoughts on the Air Max Plus Drift and whether you're planning to grab a pair whenever it finally releases. So make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you all in the next one.